Thank you very much for sharing your story with us. It takes a lot of courage. Thank you very much, Dr. Parisa. And uh, it's my pleasure to come here in, in your program. And it's my first time to come here. You're more than welcome. <laughs> Thank you very much. Uh, actually, it's uh, very good of you and uh, of our of Saudi program that they mentioned like this uh, uh, ideas with us because uh, we need like this program and in, in here in our country to share everything with everybody and we open the window for everybody to talk about themselves and not feel shy because we have to broke the name of sh shy you know if everybody shy and they do not talk and they do not open the discussion with other people we will never share the ideas between us so you, you have a point I understand there is a stigma you know and the fear of judgment a lot of people they I keep the pain inside and they don't talk about it because they're afraid of judgment or being judged. Yeah, that's right. And uh, uh, most of people actually they are afraid of judgment. So we have to block these things. We have to keep going. We have to tell ab uh, talking about our pain and do not leave it inside because it will block us. It will. Uh, a lot of time, you know, when you're right, you have a point. A lot of time when uh, there is not a trust, you know, we have to have a trusting relationship. Uh, we can talk and express our feeling when we know that we are not judged. But there is, as you mentioned, and is the reality, especially in Eastern countries, we are afraid to talk because of the label, you know. Uh, but in any event, I am really glad that you decided to share your story. I know it takes a lot of courage. So tell us about your life story, and as you said, by sharing stories, life stories, we can increase the social ties and social understanding, and your participant is very important. Well, my life story, it was very painful since I, I was a child, and uh, it's really, really, it's, I don't know, it's, um, <laughs> okay, maybe it's a chance now for me to release myself and uh, show everybody in this program how strong I am. And now maybe it's a chance for myself to go out and shout very loudly and say for everybody, this is me. Actually, I was an uh, adopted child and I can say it front of everybody now. And uh, when I was a child, uh, it's killing me, really. Uh, the family who, sta who was taking care of me, they, are, they were very, very, very nice family. And uh, thanks God for them, because, and my mom, she died now. But uh, I really pray for her and ask God to help her, because she was very nice with me and she take care of me. Uh, she, she, she really lo loved me from her heart. But the problem is with myself and with the people. When I go out in the school, when I go out, you know, visit somebody, and I feel that nobody likes me. When you were a child? Yeah, when I, were, when I was a child. You were talking about the mother who adopted you? Yeah, she was nice. She was very, 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 very helpful for me. But the problem with the people that I met, because they keep asking me a question that I cannot answer. Let's say they ask me, what is your father? If I say he died, they ask me, why, how come you don't have a sister? How come you don't have a brother? How come you don't have an auntie? Like that, you know, some question like that, it it's makes me feel like that I'm different. I'm not like... I mean, uh, constantly you were reminded that you were adopted. Yes, yes. Yeah. And that's that was killing me, really. Because I feel that I'm different. I'm not like them. Uh, uh, I feel that I'm away from the human being. Because... You know, this question was really, really, very bad for me. And everybody wanna knows what is my story exactly. And I don't have to say it for everybody. But now, maybe in this age, and now I'm very strong. And I'm very proud of myself. I can say it now front of the camera. In your program, that's I'm um, adopted. 
I'm an adopted child and I'm okay. I live my life alone. I'm surviving. My mom died when I was 13 years old. And uh, what happened then after that? Uh, there was uh, another family who's taking care of me. Uh, maybe God, they are the one who sent them to me. And they take care of me, alhamdulillah, until I get married. I get married when I was 17. Uh, <clears throat> my husband actually, uh, I don't know what to say, but it was very, very bad uh, marriage. And uh, it's, uh, he makes me all down all the time. He's saying that these words, like you are adopted, you don't have a family, you don't, you know, you, you belong to me. Uh, you, you have nowhere to go. Let's say when I decide to divorce, he refused and he say one word, where you will go? Tell me where you will go. And he shout in front of me. Really, this word, it's killing me. I just pray and say, God, please help me. You are the one who put me in this life. God, please, you are the one who see everything. So this is, I don't have any uh, mistake that I did to my family to leave me alone. But the God, he's the one who wants me to be like that. And I know there is a lot, a lot of people like me, girls and boys, and they are surviving, they are living, I know. But to come here in your program and saying it in front of everybody, I don't think there is a lot of people who can say it. They don't, they don't have that power. Maybe when they, 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 they've been through very bad experience until they come surviving like me i think they will come and saying it I, I let me congratulate you because really it takes a lot of courage and it's a breakthrough because as you said before we went uh, on the camera you said you feel like shouting you feel like something was inside you that you want to release it yes. and now this is a chance for you to be yourself and not to be ashamed of who you are because god created us all equal we come in this world all equal we just face different circumstances and I know it's very hard to go through the stages that you felt like you, you've been compared with the others and you've been questioned and, and your husband took this as an advantage to let you down and, and put you down. But how did you handle all this pain? When I was uh, 14, after my mom died, I tried to take some tablets to die after her. And I, I had it on my Tried to, to suicide? Yes. And... Uh, <clears throat> after uh, <clears throat> after I wake up in the hospital, <clears throat> the doctor asked me, why you do this to yourself? You're still young. Why you do this to me? But I, I just cry, cry, cry. I don't know why. I don't know why I'm doing this to myself. And um, really, it's it was very painful for me. And now I'm shaking and I start to cry. But, you know, it's the chance. I have to say it. I have to be very strong and let people learn from, from me. I'm a, a sample of million people surviving in this world. But uh, how did you, uh, when your mother died, the mother who adopted you, and you attempted to take your life away, uh, do you remember how did you feel, what was going to your mind? I remember one word, I say it when I noticed that she died. I shout and I said, Mommy, you leave me alone in this world. What can I do? A lot of animals around me. I remember this world like it's happened yesterday. And maybe it's come from my heart. You know, I, I was 14. So a child like 14 year, years saying these words, it's very big words to saying it. In other words, you were very scared. Yes, very scared of people, very scared of how I will, how I will live in this life alone. And um, it was really, really very hard that time, that moment. And then after the hospital, what happened? After the hospital, uh, I continue my study. Uh, there was a teacher who helped me a lot. And she sat with me all the time and she talked to me about the future. She was a really nice teacher. Uh, if I see her now, I just kiss her hand saying that you're doing very good things for me because I learned from her how to be like me now. Did you have any sister and brothers, adopted sister and brothers with you? I don't. So you felt lonely? Yeah, I feel lonely and uh, I feel all my friends that I know in school, uh, in the um, in Institute of Public Administration, they are my, like, like, okay. 
It's okay. We'll come back. <laughs>